One day, I decided to grab my bags and jump on a plane. So I gathered a few coins together. Let's go. Of course, I grabbed the essentials. It was the beginning of the pandemic. It was about two years ago. Ended up in London, UK. First stop, tea time. Ooh, child, what is this? I have never seen anything like this before. My little sister laughed and laughed and laughed. Yes, my little sister is beauty and brains. So she was studying abroad. She was studying in London, UK, free of charge because she's a valedictorian and she's smart like that. So I popped up on her. Ended up in London and she had to take me to tea time and just laugh because she knows I'm a foodie and I would not be happy with the choices. So I made the best of it. All of the different choices. Look at me, y'all, sipping tea in London. English tea. Oh, you see my finger up? You see that little pink? I'm fancy. Child, I was not prepared for that weather. I, you know me. I don't like keeping on all them hot ass clothes, baby. But I was not prepared for the cold and the rain. I was scared of them, y'all. Look at me. I had to borrow my sister's coat and, and gloves and everything, child. I was not prepared, but it was beautiful. I had a good time. When I tell you we went everywhere, we took every form of transportation there was. But we saw it all. Baby, from the Uber to the taxi to the bus to the subway. <laughs> to the train we did it oh i wanted to see everything you hear me oh yeah it was raining we stayed all day we got up early and we just went before the sun even came up all the way to the nightfall baby we just went everywhere so i'm still looking for food y'all that's the closest thing to food I found. Beautiful, beautiful. There were so many beautiful monuments and statues and paintings. I, I couldn't get everything. It was just too much. I didn't know what to do. Again, me, never mind my clothes, y'all. I already told you. Don't look at my apparel. Just look at the monuments. It was nice. <laughs> I think this is called the Eye of London, if I'm not mistaken. It was beautiful. You can't really see it through the rain. You can see everything from here. Y'all know I had to grab a glass. Me and Miss Beauty and Brains. It rained all day and it was cold. We decided to take the underground train to go to Paris. We grabbed them. Well, that's a little subway, but then we ended up on the train. Voila! I'm in Paris! I've always wanted to go to Paris! I am so cliche. I've always wanted to wear a shirt with Paris on it and stand in front of the Eiffel Tower. I know it's funny, but this is Paris. We saw everything. Voila, there it is. That's what I've always wanted to do. One of the things I've always wanted to do. Again, I was freezing, but hey, I'm, I'm there. I'm there, God dug it. I'm there. They were actually doing construction on the Eiffel Tower at the time. Barely out. Something. I always gotta be out on my hot ass. Making memories, capturing the moment. Baby, you can't tell me nothing. 
Never let anyone stop you from living out your dreams. Nothing. So, across from the Eiffel Tower is a restaurant. We decided to go and eat. I saw burger on the menu. I could not recognize anything else. So I'm excited. I'm starving. There's no food in London. There's no food in Paris. This is what I get. Oh my goodness. No taste. No bread. Dry. Even the fries did not taste good. I almost died, y'all. I almost died. I'm serious. I could not eat. I love to eat. I could not eat. I had to literally make me a burger. I found something on the menu that contained bread. And look, I put a piece of this and a piece of that and a piece of that and a piece of that together. I pieced that stuff together so good. It was a little better, but it was still no taste of nothing. You should have saw the way that was looking at me for trying to throw salt on that bland food, baby. Well, at least I can get something to drink. I have to at least get some kind of taste and flavor in my mouth. Oh, a fanta? Oh, now I know what that is. I recognize that. Y'all see that bottle? Do y'all see that bottle? That bottle's not shaped like the bottles we have here, huh? Guess what? They don't taste the same either. Lord, what soda don't have sugar in it? That's why these people are so healthy. I have been seeing an overweight person since I left the United States. And did I mention there were no elevators, no rest areas, no benches, nowhere? Stairs, 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 on top of stairs, everywhere you go, walking in stairs and walking in stairs, honey. You can't help but be healthy there. I'm serious. But anyway, back to the beauty. This is the entranceway of a hotel. It was so beautiful. I'm sorry. So my pictures are out of order, but hey, you get to see it. So if you've seen the Eye of London, you've seen the Palace of Versailles, you've seen um, the Louvre, um, oh my God, I can't remember what else I put in here. But anyway, you, we took a two hour underground train ride from London to Paris, and this is what we got. Of course, I didn't take pictures of everything. It was just too much. I just tried to really soak it in and enjoy. So that was supposed to have been the original Mona Lisa. I don't know. And I don't know. I guess that's for big booty people over there. I don't know what all of that stuff is, baby. But it was fun. It was fun. We walked through Paris. We went through the hoods. We went through everywhere. Y'all know I told y'all. Everywhere I go, I gotta see the hood. So we decided to stay in Paris instead of going back to London because it was a long day. And the rooms were tiny, y'all. Look. When I tell y'all... Everything is so small. The, the hallways are small. Everything is so tiny. It was a beautiful room, but it was tiny. And y'all know gold is my favorite color, so I was in love the whole time. Man, I've never had airplane food so good in my life. I Oh my goodness, I was so thankful for that airplane food. When I got to the airport, I had a feast, baby. It was expensive, but look look at that compared to how I was eating. Woo, Lord, thank God for the airport food. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek at my quick little getaway to United Kingdom, London, and Paris, France. Remember to always live unapologetically, live out loud, love yourself, smile, and enjoy your life.